pretty simply, uh, this is year two of a uh, little journey we began uh, last year. Um, we have uh, about 50 newcomers coming this year, and about uh, 50, no, 15 uh, men's cross country, and a small group of uh, women. We're still uh, moving forward in, uh, in our goal. Uh, we hired the uh, uh, men's cross country uh, coach. Sean Graham, he's not uh, here yet, but uh, en, route, en route to be here. And uh, he'll take over the uh, men's portion uh, of the program. Coach uh, Dunn left and uh, went to the University of Oklahoma. Uh, I, I guess the, that's also a good thing. When people are coming after you, coaches, I mean, you're, you're, you're doing well. Um, nobody wants to coach that nobody else wants, uh, that's for sure. Um, and uh, we wish him luck, but uh, we feel that uh, Coach Graham has all the uh, necessary uh, abilities and qualities that we'll look for in a coach. Uh, and he's absolutely in love with the idea of coaching here at UK. And, and, and that was very important to me that, that I wanted somebody that uh, saw this as an opportunity of a lifetime, that just adore uh, the, the chance to work with our kids and to service them and uh, to be a mentor uh, to them. It was also important to get a guy who can coach the elite athletes and also develop uh, on both sides. So um, it was not just a guy that can coach our top kids and, and not really help our, our developers or vice versa. And that's uh, really what I liked about Coach Graham is that he has that ability. And also important that the person can work with uh, Coach DeVries, make sure that our teams uh, remain united. I don't want two separate philosophies and, and, and team going in different directions. And I really feel like we accomplished that uh, with Coach Graham. Uh, I've known him for a while. He was uh, on a team called the Farm Team when I was at, uh, at Stanford. He's a guy that's experienced uh, at the highest level. Uh, he's competed himself um, and ran extremely well as a professional and, and a guy with uh, a strong character and really, really good work, at work ethics. Um, looking forward to uh, moving forward to cross country and, and uh, uh, getting our team to uh, do better than last year, which is our goal from year to year, is just keep improving from year to year and putting a product out there that is uh, worthy of what the University of Kentucky uh, uh, deserves. Coach, you were introduced at this press conference last year. How much have you progressed as a coach, and how much more familiar are you now with the, the group and, and prepared for the new season? You know, I think there's always a little bit of a learning curve. You keep you keep improving uh, as a coach, and I want to keep doing that. I, I think we're, we're getting closer to uh, my vision uh, of what the, the team should look like. Uh, we we want to be relevant, which, which is my goal. Uh, you know, people say competitive. That, that could be kind of a fluffy word. You know what the heck that really means. But, you know, to me, I, I want to be relevant. And, and, and relevant is if we go to a cross-country championships at the SEC, if we don't show up, I want to make sure that our presence is, is felt. You know, sometimes you don't come and, and, and nobody will know if you were there or not. But for me, relevant is that, that, that people see us walking in and they know that, okay, these guys, they're here to do business. Uh, they're going to give us their absolute best shot. Uh, um, now, a friend of mine, actually, last year at the SEC told me that, you know, that the, watching the team warm up was all business. And, and he was saying, you guys actually look like you belong here and you think you're going to do something. And, and you know, after the race and, and Callie and Chelsea did their thing, I, I guess we did a little something. Uh, so it, it told the rest of the conference that, that you know, we are intending uh, to be relevant. We are intending to be uh, at the forefront. We are intending um, to do our deal, to do what we came here to do. We, we want to be counted. We want them to know that we were here. When the meet is over, the University of Kentucky was here. You know, maybe we didn't win, but we were there and we did business, and, and that's the goal. Um, and we're getting closer to that. Not, not there yet. Got a few uh, more recruits to uh, to grab. I got a bunch of really great transfers. Uh, that's going to help. Uh, but we're, we're still building and we're still climbing. Um, well, immediately upon their arrival, you could just feel that they wanted to win and they really had a positive attitude for our team. And I think just from the start, they really turned things around. And you could just tell by the end of the year, we were like really a team. And I don't know, everything just kind of came together. Really, I'm under the impression that you had some injuries and uh, you increased your practice workload and now you have fewer injuries. 
sounds counterintuitive in a way. Yeah. Uh, can you explain uh, how that works? Um, I think I just, I had run a little more than I should have. Um, and I don't know, injuries happen and now I'm just feeling better and the summer training went really well and I know other girls summer training went really well and we're just excited to be back, ready to train and ready to start the year out fresh. Coach Rivers, can you talk about having someone like Kelly on your team, what, especially last year, what that meant for this team and going forward this next year? Sure. Um, Having Callie in the group was <clears throat> was really uh, it helped with the validation of our new coaching staff really coming in. Um, a lot of athletes bought in immediately, and some people took a little bit longer to to really see the vision that we were trying to put in front of everybody. And and obviously, cross country is the first season that we have um, between cross country, indoor, and outdoor. So it's the perfect opportunity to really set the tone for the year. And obviously, having Callie come in and be the first uh, individual SEC champion since. Uh, 1989 or 1990 was it was a huge step for the program and really validated a lot of what we were doing with team building as well as training as well as um, you know a lot of the you know just overall goals that we had set for the group. Allie, what do you think about that being the first in more than 20 years from the UK to you know to do what you did? Uh, it was obviously really exciting. <laughs> um, it coming into this year, I had no idea what to expect, and I was actually pretty surprised at how things turned out but it was a pleasant surprise and I'm excited to hopefully keep it keep it going. How is your approach different now? You mentioned being surprised at how successful you were. Are you kind of expecting success more in the season? Uh, I definitely know more of what I want because last year I had no idea it was all as you said a surprise so um, yeah I'm just gonna Keep a positive attitude and keep training hard, and we'll see what happens. Either of you focus. Comment on the year Matt had last year as well, and, and what ex expectations do you have for him this time around? Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think some uh, some people on the team uh, really uh, took a grasp of everything and then made a quick turnaround, and, and that's really what you want. But you know, sometimes it, it took a little bit. And we, we tried. Uh, a few things with Matt. Uh, we, we tried a little bit of a steeple, uh, um, and, you know. And, and just to talk about that attitude, you know, have, having a guy that, hey, man, I, I'm I'm going to try everything, just trying to go out there and get to the next level. And, and a little bit later uh, in the season, he really turned things around and, and, and um, decided to really show showcase uh, how talented and how gifted he was, and then really helped the team in numerous ways, advancing to the NCA uh, was definitely a huge bonus, and I think it. His credit to his work ethics. His credit to uh, him believing in, in the process and, and the little sidebar in the process of hiring a new coach. I think Matt's blowing up my phone a thousand times, and it, it's nonstop every two days. Where are we? Do we have somebody yet? We have somebody yet? And, and you know, you, you want to have people who invest in the program, and, and he's absolutely, you know, I, I'm glad we have a coach hired. He can blow up. Sean's phone, <laughs> but he is definitely involved and, and came to my office several times. Just want to talk about uh, um, what he thought or, or sharing uh, his thoughts with me about you know what he felt a, a good coach was and what are the things that uh, um, he liked about the previous coach and what are the things that, that he didn't like, so we could make sure we we're on the same page. And, and you know, I I really uh, admired that that the, uh, a young man is going to take ownership of, of his program, and, and, and we talk about our program, our team, uh, um, and not my or I. So and he definitely took the hour and, and spoke to the guys on the team and, and, and got their opinion and conveyed that to me. So I really appreciate that a lot. And I think all of that stuff speaks volume to about the, the season he had and then how hard he worked and, and trying different stuff and then finally finding his niche and then being really successful doing that. Um, Matt, have you spoke with Chris Graham? Do you approve? I uh, haven't spoken to him yet, but um, from the things I've heard, uh, sounds very credible. I'm really excited to start working with him and uh, looking forward to seeing what he has set for the season and what kind of goals uh, we're going to set. What kind of goals do you have, Matt, for yourself this season? Uh, I mean, I think especially in cross country, it's really just about the team. Um, anything I can do to help the team, uh, whether it's being just a leader. Uh, there's a lot of new freshmen, lots of transfers. Gonna kind of show them the ropes. Uh, I mean, I think just getting out there, 
today's our first day and the sheer numbers is overwhelming. So I think getting out there and giving an honest effort every day and showing them what our vision is and uh, what kind of tone we want to set for the year is really important. So, What's, what's your role in setting that tone? Uh, I mean, I think mine's just action. Um, I'm also I'm a big talker on the team. So uh, I kind of set the tone for each practice and uh, I think just getting out there and giving a hard effort, um, showing them what gets you to the next level is really important. So that's kind of where I step in. Um, I think any time when you have that success, you learn what it takes uh, to compete at the next level. And along the way, you, you view other people in the, uh, the SEC, the NCAA, and you see what works for them. Um, you manipulate your own um, strategies, and um, that's kind of, I think I've found a strategy that works for me, and I think uh, just the vision I have uh, for myself and where I see the team is what's kind of escalated the process. Coach, can you explain how Cali's uh, increased practice load lessened the uh, injury issues? Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I'll say this. It, it's When you make an omelet, you can't really do it without breaking some eggs. So if you're trying to get an athlete to the uh, highest level of performance, uh, you have to sort of take a few risks. Um, and the athlete also has to be willing to share in, in, in the risk. Um, when you have an athlete of that caliber, um, you share the risk and you talk about the program and the plan. Um, and then the athlete sort of buys into that plan and then you, you go forward. But uh, if you try to get somebody to win the NCAA championships, you sort of have to push the envelope a little bit. And then it's a good balance between how hard do you push and when and how much you back off. And then that, that's communication, that's a relationship, uh, leadership in between a coach and athlete. Uh, even though Coach uh, DeVries uh, does all the coaching, the day hands on, I, I spend quite a bit of time with Cali just talking about goal setting, just talk about what's the plan beyond college. You, know, you want to be star athlete, professional athlete, all that stuff. So I'm involved in, in more than just uh, being the head coach and, and, and have an intimate relationship with all these young ladies and all these young men. So uh, we talked about it, and that's something that she wouldn't want to do. She want to go get to the U.S. National Championship and compete at that level. And if you want to do that, then you've never run the times required to do it. You sort of have to do things that are unknown. And when you do things that are unknown, nobody knows how the body is going to respond to that. And, and so we did uh, uh, step out, and, and she believed it, and, and we went for it. And, and, and we got a little ding and, and things that we didn't uh, anticipate happening. But uh, I assure you, with the medical staff here at UK, we are, we're fully prepared to, again, take those risks and uh, now be smarter about it and make sure that, that we get the, uh, the right protocol set to, for recovery uh, um, between uh, the things that, that Mitch has provided for us uh, as a team to be able to uh, uh, help the athletes recover. I think we can use all those tools now that we know the athlete a little bit better. And plus for us, it was a little bit of a discovery process. You've never worked with these athletes before. We, we group that came from Stanford, and, and, and you're trying to implement a different level of workout that, that uh, athletes are not used to. And for the most part, well, you have to probably say 95%, it, it worked just fine, and, and I'm looking forward to Again, pushing the envelope because we want Cali to get to the NCAA podium, and we're not going to do that by being, uh, you know, too mushy about the plan. You know, my, my son told me, Dad, I don't want the mushy workout. <laughs> you know, mushy workout make mushy players. So, and, and I can assure you that the Cali I know does, does not want the mushy workout. She wants to be at her best. This is her final year, and, and I guarantee you that uh, being on the NCAA podium is our goal and then we as coaching staff are going to do whatever we can and we as a university will do whatever we can to make sure we provide her the opportunity to get on that podium and that's what I'm all about that's what I believe Mitch and all of us are all about just to be extremely successful and guide our athletes to the utmost that they can achieve. Um, obviously it's difficult whenever uh, you come back to a new year and, and some seniors are gone um, <coughs> Really, the uh, the Bucks kind of passed to to the current members. Um, they need to be able to to fill those gaps. And um, as we could say a year ago, um, Chelsea and Callie weren't at that level. So we need to look to some of the younger members to be able to step up and and fill those gaps. Um, can't be mas making excuses about graduation. This is college athletics, and that's what we do. So.
how do you feel any pressure to not only meet but exceed some of the really impressive things you did last last year? Is it a good is it a good pressure? Perhaps? Yeah, of course it's a good pressure. Um, coming into any season, you have you put pressure on yourself because you want to be better than you were the year before. So um, just taking it with a positive energy, and I'm excited about it, and I'm ready for it to start. Well, it, it brings credit to the program. Um, when you're hosting events, people get a chance to uh, you get a chance to showcase your facility, and and let people see that that you can actually host at that level. Uh, it's like Coach was talking about. You host a regional championship, people see that, and they're impressed with our ability as a university to put uh, high class events. Um, so for us, we have to do that. So. Uh, you know, the, the little uh, high school juniors and seniors can see us on TV, can see the University of Kentucky's facilities and on TV and, and see that we do have uh, world-class facilities and we're able to kind of host world-class events and high-class events like the NCAA. So hosting is a huge part of being successful. Uh, it, it's, you know, plus you get to be on TV. You know, every time you get to be on TV and then people talk about your university, talk about your school, talk about your facility, talk about your track, that's awesome in recruiting and then that's kind of what we want we, we want to be we want to be relevant we want to be something that, that people are hearing us over and over they're not surprised like oh god Kentucky's you hosting we want to make that the norm that hey well, why not us we're, we're just as good as anybody else we should be hosting and putting uh, NCAA division one class events out there on TV